Okay, so uh, the other day we put in the uh, tie down strap and or the tie down latch. Let's try this again. Okay, the other day we uh, we attached our V rings uh, and basically these are secure. We used the original hold down points for the chargers and that took a lot longer because I made a couple of measurement and marking errors, but it's all in now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this back out uh, and we're going to use these aluminum panels since these panels show the location of the holes for two chargers right next to each other and we did check and make sure the chargers do fit on here. Uh, then we're going to use this underneath to mark the hole centers and drill those slightly larger in case we make a mistake but that way the chargers can be mounted directly against the bottom panel uh, with standoffs. So we're going to use these standoffs here, got a whole bunch of them. Uh, so we got enough standoffs to uh, mount both chargers on both sides. Uh, so that's the new plan, um, should work. So we'll see how it works out. we might have a problem and a solution here. Uh, the problem is that two of the holes, these two holes that mount the chargers are gonna have to come up right here and here. And really the only reason we have these tabs here is to help hold this plate in place. So we don't really need these tabs. So to make our life easier, if we just cut these things off here and had this here and that's it because this is just a this plate is mainly just to spread the force of that uh, tie down so these were just to hold it down there so all I really need to do then is just to put uh, these screws in here and bolt it down and that covers it up and then nobody knows anything differently or you know it, ideally best bet the ideal thing would be to uh, weld this up just weld up the hole and close it up but I didn't think about that until just now and I'm not sure if I want to put voltage across this thing because I'm trying to avoid welding as much as possible right now because the car works really well and disconnecting all the electrical is a pain in the butt. I don't know yet. Haven't decided. Um, might do it anyway. Okay so after a little bit of thought and uh, soul searching uh, we're going to disconnect the grounds, close up the holes we don't need. In fact, I think we might even just close up these front two holes here and here since they're not needed anymore. Uh, we'll just use this part of the plate here and just cut off the rest of it because uh, that way we'll have a nice force distribution panel on the back side that we can bolt into this thing. So that'll be, that'll be able to fit in there. And it means that putting the one on that side will be a lot easier because then we just bolt through and done. Um, not even gonna worry about, uh, I mean, I, I might even use like some black RTV or something to help put it on the back side. I don't know, I keep from rattling around. But, um, but right now, yeah, we're just gonna cut these tabs off of here and, uh, and that way we can close up this hole and this hole and this hole and that hole. Fewer holes in the bed is better. Um, and that way there's less hardware sticking through. Uh, and then when we uh, need to go ahead and do that side, we'll just do the same thing. We'll just take that out, drill the three holes, um, plug in the holes we don't need, and um, and then put the panels in, so put the charges in. So that'll be next time. Uh, right now, I've got to go inside and get cleaned up. But uh, that's it for today.